What's up guys, Project Nature here uh, with another unboxing, or in this case, untinning of the 2015 Yu-Gi-Oh! Odd Eyes Megaton. Or in this case, three Megatons. Off to my left, you can't see the tins, but they're there. Trust me on that. So, uh, without further stalling, let's unravel this beast. And I will tell you about the thing. By the way, I have another video coming up about a second tin set, the Dark Rebellion uh, Exceeds Dragon tin, which I will put a link to in the description box along with the website of the seller who sold me these tins in such a good bundle for such a good price. Here's the Odd Eyes Mega Tin. It's very shiny, very nice. It comes with a few promo cards, and it comes with a lot of cards from old packs. Now on the top, on the surface, we have our promo cards, and it is sticking to this thing by plastic thing. It comes with the Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon in a, hang on a second, a Platinum Secret Rare format and two super rare cards underneath it. So let's unravel this and see what they are. Right, same thing. And you see well, that is one shiny card. Very nice. So shiny it's reflecting off the light. Now I've already got three Odd Eyes cards, Pendulum Dragons, but I'm definitely going to use this one in my main deck soon enough. And as you can see, Fallen from My Hand is my set. the second of these cards, just recently released into the TCG. It's Elder God Norden, or Elder Entity Norden. A very nice monster, very great instant fusion. Uh, its effect is that when this card is special summoned to the field... It you can target one level four lower monster in your graveyard, special summon it, but its effects are negated and vanish when the discard leaves the field. It's great for with instant fusion for making rank four Xyz, and it's just an all around cool card. And uh, the third card is Majesty's Fiend, which has the effect it cannot be special summoned and monster effects cannot be negated. Amazing card. That's the three promo cards. These are guaranteed in every one of these packs. I've already gone over what these cards do, so for the rest of the video, I won't be unraveling the packs. I won't be unraveling the promo card packs, and instead we get into the meat, which is the Mega Tin packs. It comes with three packs of 16, giving a total of 48 cards in these three packs. Pull out the filling, put the tin over on the side, and the lid over on the side, and let's open these things up. I'm going to be opening up nine of these tonight, so let's get, without further stalling or wasting of time, let's open up and see what we got. I'd like to point out that I've seen a lot of these cards already because these are all from booster packs that have, uh, or booster sets that I've already unlocked, opened up, but let's see what we got anyway. We've got Artifact Labrys. I think it's some kind of weapon, like an axe. Uh, Raid Raptor, Vanishing Ladius. Galaxy Charity. Pendulum Shift. Cloud Castle. Oh boy, the Cloud Castles. Huh. Let's see. We've got Battle Guard King. Dance Princess of the Necros. Bujinshi Sinyo. Interesting card. It's very shiny. I'm going to put this and this over here. Ooh, what's this? Pistalis, the Mega Monarch. Vampire Vamp. Blubble Cat. Perform Pal Friend Donkey. Perform Pal Call. Laser Clip. Cannon, the Metalitus Diva. Number 43. The Manipulator of Souls. And I threw all these cards into the wrong pile. I are smart. I'm going to keep my rares 
and all around uh, appreciated cards on one side. I'm going to keep my not rares on the other side as I have learned to do. So here's one thing, here's the other thing. Sorry for the slowness. Alright, pack two. Pack two is open, and we've got Yang Zing Brutality. Okay, this is hard to pronounce, but bear with me. Artifact, Beagle, Beagle Talk. Wall of Disruption, Unizombie. Artifact, Igis. Metaphys, Armed Dragon. Our rares are Performer Pal, Turn Toad, Stellar Knight, Constellar Diamond, oh wow, Boxia, Brightness of the Yang Zing, <gasps> wow, and number C107. Neo Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. Holy crap. A Galaxy Eyes card in my hand. Jeez, this thing is crazy. Uh, oh, shoot. <laughs> Got so stunned by that, and I actually disrupted my senses. Alright, alright. Recover, recover. I got my cards back in hand. I'd say so. Okay. And now we got Deskbot 3. Shadow Hound, Sylvan Cherub Sprout, Shadow the Hedgehog, and Blizzard Thunderbird. So, wow, that C107. I was not expecting to pull that at all. Really? Um, <clears throat> okay. Third pack of this first tip. see a lot of repeats from things I've opened before. That dragon is new though. Okay, we have Super Heavy Samurai, Soul Bang Cannon, Galaxy Charity, Arya the Melodist Diva, Battle Guard Rage, Serenade the Melodist Diva, Climate Change for the Cliff Worths. Oh my god. Super Heavy Samurai Scales. Nice. What? Oh, Chiwen, Light of the Yang Zing. I only had, like, the Earth one, I think. Now I've got the Light one, but only one. And Bujinki Amaterasu. And Karen Gorgon, Anti-Luminescent Knight. This is, I'm not sure what this is, but it's got to be cool because it's a rare. Now we have Mimiclay, Galaxy Tomahawk, Super Heavy Samurai Soulbreaker Armor, Soulfire Suit, Phantom Knights of Shadowvale, and Stellar Knight Alpha. So we'll put those cards away, and that's the first tin down. Now I've taken the liberty of unwrapping the other tins, uh, the other tins, um, their Konami wrapping, so we won't be going through that, we'll also not be going through that, and I'm just gonna pull out the cards from this pack, you know, while I'm at it, I'm also going to put the cards from this pack into, back into the tin that it came from, because I wanna keep those cards all together when I review how the tins worked out for me. So I'm doing that now, and now we are going to get into the second pack of cards. That was a very nice pull on the first, good few nice pulls on the first tins, and now we're going to the second one, starting with this pack with Super Heavy Samurai Kabuto. Artifact Beagle Talk. Raid Raptor Rise Falcon, number 48, Shadow Lich, Super Heavy Samurai Soul Shield Wall, Metaphys Arm Dragon, Dance Princess of the Necros, Bujin Harumi, 
I think that's how it's pronounced. Yeah. Gladiator Beast Neurochius. Void Launch. Alright. Uh, Galaxy Tomahawk. Clipper Launch. Blizzard Thunderbird. Last Minute Cancel. Yang Zing Unleashed. Performer Pal Hip Hippo. Common Hip Hippo. I've got so many hippos. So many hippos. And the two that I used to use in my deck, I got from the uh, other thing. The, uh, the Light Sworn box and the Shadow box of Duelist Alliance. So, I mean, it's, it's a common. It's another hippo. Hippo can be good. Better in a more recent something else build. I don't know. Uh, Oracle of the Herald, Echo Oscillation, Performed Pal Swordfish, Super Heavy Samurai, Blue Brawler, Sylvan Lotus Wayne, Dusk Bot 1, ooh, nice, Draw Muscle, oh, you have got to be kidding me, you're not going to believe what I just pulled after not pulling this card from so many packs, <laughs> oh, God, wow, Rune Eyes Pendulum Dragon. I already purchased three of these online, and now I pulled one. That gives me four. Oh, but that's not all. Because I didn't purchase this card, and I didn't even expect to get this card, but... Wow. El Shadol, uh Grista. Now, I, it's not the more commonly used ones, but dang. I got a Shadol Fusion Monster for once. And equally awesome... Artifact Moral Talk, the king of artifacts, and following the king is its servant, the uh, artifact Chakram. And back to Fluffle Cat, Requillate, Stellar Knight, Alpha, Cannon, the Melodis Diva, and Fire Muffler Lion. Wow. Still, Rune Eyes is pretty good. I could put it, I could make two decks out of my uh, performer pals now. I could already kind of do that, but now I've got like two fusion monsters for each deck too. And here we got Punch in the Box, Infornoid Atondal, Stellar Nova Wave, Perform Pal Partnaga, Fluffle Bear. I used to have only one of these. This is pretty good for me anyway. Uh, Shadow Squalmata, Satellar Knight's uh, Sirius as a rare and following Sirius is Tribeer as a rare and now we've got an Xyz monster Aurea the silver the sylvan high arbiter and no friggin way okay quick story sorry to stop this like this but I sent away for three copies of this monster and I didn't get a single one of I didn't get any of them from the provider. And I don't quite remember who they are. Just that they definitely did not send me this card. But I just pulled it here. I got a first of the dragons. Fusion monster. So alright. That is good. That makes up for it a bit. I got Satellar Knight Vega. Performer Pal Revival. Deskbot 3. Illusion Balloons. Artifact Fail Not. And burn their visor. I could make an art. I could start making an artifact deck with the uh, artifact cards I have. I think. And this is the end of the second tin that I've opened. I'm about to go into my third. I'm gonna put all the stuff back together like I did with the first tin. There's those. There's these. And now to get to the third tin, the third and final tin for tonight, contains the same cards, or the same promo cards, uh, in about a couple of nights, or possibly tomorrow, I sure hope, soon, the sooner the better, I'd like to release another vi set of uh, videos, or excuse me, another video, following opening the... Dark Rebellion Exceeds Dragon Packs, which is basically the same things as these packs, but with 
different promo cards. So it's actually like the um I'm actually opening nine out of eighteen mega tin packs. Mega tin mega packs. But I will be making another set of videos sometime soon, so please bear with me until then. Let us open the final three packs for this show session. And we start off with Super Heavy Samurai, Soulbang Cannon, Fluffle Rabbit, Former Pal Spike Eagle, Buji Intervention, Chain to Spell, Satellanite. Betelgeese. Alright, we've got very common rare, I think it is. Before Pal Trump Witch, you guys aren't gonna believe this. Another Chewin. <coughs> I don't know if you just heard that, but that was me like joking because of what I just got here. Uh look just see for yourself what I just pulled. Yeah, I just pulled a number 99 Utopic Dragon, and I'm not dead, and following that is another Yang Zing, Bixie the water, uh, water of the Yang Zing, wow, amazing, Super Heavy Samurai Swordsman, that's what it is. Uh, Artifact Achilles Shield, Super Heavy Samurai Soul Beads, yes, I'll put that here, Illusion Balloons, Strike of the Monarchs, and Galaxy Dragon. I remember this card from the uh, Galaxy Eyes deck on Legend of the Duelist, so yeah, that's good. Alright. Pack number eight. We have Lindbloom, Toy Vendor, Sylvan Water Slide, Battle Guard Rage, Hex Teller Knight, Serenade the Melodious Diva, Necroz Cycle. Whoa. No freaking way. I got. You ready for this? Denko Seca. And are you ready for this next one? Because it's going to blow your mind. Rank up magic, the seventh one. What the hell? That's just freaking awesome. And to top it all off, I have Super Heavy Samurai Trumpeteer. I've already, I think I already have one of these. I think I already have one of these, but now I have two, which is awesome. And following that, we've got Perform Pal Call, Super Heavy Samurai Soulbreaker Armor. Double Dragon Descent, Shadow the Hedgehog, the Monarch Stormforth, and Gen Knight Lapis. A freaking vanilla card and all these other cards, but Lapis is good for Gem Knight fusions. Wow, these pulls so far are amazing. And if you're wondering why my lack of my reactions aren't quite as loud, it's because I'm filming it really late at night and I still live in a household where there are a lot of people who try to sleep at night. Some days, sometime soon, I should be able to do these videos in the afternoon where it'll be a lot more acceptable to make more noise. I apologize if you can't hear me too well or if I don't seem to be making very much noise. But let's go on to pack number nine of tonight's session. Alright, here we go. Here is Wall of Disruption, Feast of the Wild, level five. Artifact, Labrys, Battleguard King. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, this is a common. But this is also a common I hadn't pulled out of all the card packs I've opened. And I had to buy three of these. Now I've got four. Command Performance. I've got a third Fluffle Bear, which is amazingly awesome. Because now I can make put it in my Fluffles if it's good. Infernoid Petrulia is my first. I'm sorry I froze there. I just lifted the card above it. I just lifted the card up to show you, and I saw what was under it, and oh my god, guys, you're not even going to believe this. Uh, first off, uh, Inferno Petrullius, my first rare, and the thing that froze me is this 
number 62, Galaxy Eyes Prime Dragon. Ho Prime Photon Dragon. Holy crap. And Satellar Knight Deltros. And Avalon. Avalon. Is this a rare? It's got a shiny background, but it doesn't have the shiny text. I'm going to put it as rare. It's good for Noble Knights. I don't have Noble Knights, but I should probably get some if I'm going to use them. The last cards are Double Dragon Descent, Super Heavy Samurai, uh, Sword... Smith. Yeah, sorry, couldn't read for a second. Uh, Perform Power Revival, Soulfire Suit, Galaxy Mirror Sage, and Jin Demolisher of Rituals. And that concludes all my crazy pulls for tonight for the Odd Eyes Packs. Tune in in a few days when I come back to do the uh, Dark Rebellion pulls and show off my promo cards for that. Until then, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys then.